Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I am going to be doing a healthy vegan haul today. And stay tuned to the end because I'm also going to be sharing with you these delicious romaine wraps. So getting started, the first thing I noticed with my Kroger pickup is these two bananas. What is this? Okay. I tried to get two bunches of bananas and they gave me actually two bananas. <laughs> anyway, so I got this honeydew melon, which these are really good. And I specifically like to put them in the blender and just drink them cold, like a cold juice. Really good. I got this four count bag of avocados. And they seem to be pretty ripe as well. I also got these ruby grapefruit. And everything that I have, um, for the most part, all of the produce is, I was able to find a good selection of organic produce at this particular Kroger. I think there's like two or three things that I got that were not organic. Even down to the relish, I got that because I plan on doing some carrot tuna. And I also got some vine tomatoes. It is my plan to do my fair share of juicing for the week, so that's what this pineapple here is for. And as well as these pears. Now this is one of the items that I got that was not organic, but I went on and got it anyway. And this is the mustard that I'm going to be using in my wraps that I'll be showing you or sharing with you. And this bag of lemons here, I purchased this because I want to do some infused water this week. So I'll be doing lemons as well as probably some basil and maybe a few cucumbers. I picked up this smaller, this 0.5 ounce container of basil. On the website it showed that they had a three ounce, but when I got there, this is what they gave me. So yeah, I'm gonna be putting that in the water as well. Say hi to the back of my baby's head. <laughs> this is why I'm doing a voiceover, guys. So I found these organic seeded, seedless grapes. And I typically prefer to find seeded, but that seems to no longer be an option these days. So I went on and got the seedless grapes, and I just figured that that's better than processed snacks. They had a sale going for these strawberries, so this is one of two containers that I got. I believe they were on sale for $3.79, which is a pretty good deal for strawberries. This is a probiotic drink that I sometimes like to get. This flavor is lemon ginger, and it comes in a 40 ounce. And this week, I plan to work on my children's digestion, and I think this drink will be a good just a good little drink to have to switch it up from like just the water and fresh juices. These are the romaine hearts that I plan to show you all that we're gonna be having these for lunch on today and probably quite a few different versions of the the wraps I'll be doing this week, so that's why I went on and got two packs. And there's three that comes in each pack. These are just some kiwi fruit that I got as options for snacks. And I'm not quite sure why blueberries always come in such small containers, but I went on and got them this week since our main focus is going to just be fruit for snacks. And then this is my second container of strawberries that I already showed you all. Next up, oh, I have some more of these probiotic drinks because this one, this particular flavor does not, it only comes in the 15 ounce. It doesn't come in the 40 ounce, but that flavor is really delicious. And they were on sale two for five. So I just went on and got picked up um, two of those. And like I said, I do plan on doing my fair share of juicing for the week. So I went on and got this five pound bag of carrots. And we will also be using the 
the fiber from the, the juices to make carrot tuna. And so I got very few processed items this time around. I got this Daya sliced cheese as well as this yogurt. This is coconut milk yogurt and check out the live cultures in this because yes, like I said, I am focusing on digestion this week. These oranges are just another snack option for the children. And I have this vegan. <laughs> She's trying to help me, y'all. That's my vegan Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to be using that in my romaine wraps that I'm about to show you in just a moment. Now, as I'm taking a look back at everything, I realized that I must have thought I was recording, but I didn't get this clip. So I also have two bunches of celery as well as five cucumbers. I will be using those for my juices and then I have a container of power greens and I'll be using that for my salads for the week. And that is everything that I got and as promised let's go ahead and get started on those romaine wraps. So I'm just starting by opening it up and then I'm going to take them over to the sink. I've already rinsed them off and now I'm just going to start laying everything out to add on all of my toppings and ingredients first i'm going to start by dicing or slicing this tomato i always like to cut the piece off that has the sticker on it because that has chemicals that will ultimately be left behind and you will end up eating those if i don't just cut it off so i have tomatoes bell peppers i'm going to be slicing up these black olives and off to the side i have some hummus and then some roasted chickpeas from the night before so i'm just starting by spreading my hummus onto my lettuce as i would if this were a slice of bread now i'm just layering on my my toppings this is the chickpeas here and then i'm just going to pile like the veggies on top I'm adding on some Dijon mustard, as well as a couple sprinkles of the vegan Parmesan cheese. These wraps are super simple to make. Finally, I'm just gonna top them off with some slices of avocado. I hope that you all enjoyed this recipe as well as the grocery haul. Be sure to let me know if you try this recipe out yourself. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll be sure to talk to you all in the next one.